So I'm out here in Weeping Water. Uh, Weeping Water Lakes, they release some trout. and So I was just walking up and trying to, I mean, I haven't been fly fishing for very long. So I was just talking to an older guy and he gave me some uh, flies that he made by hand. And he gave me a bunch of them, all kinds of different things. Pretty neat to talk to an older guy that makes his own flies, been fishing for 40 years, fly fishing that is. So uh, we're just out here at Weeping Water Lakes catching some trout with my fly rod. Mr. Bite. He has to tell me this method of uh, reeling in your line. Not too fast, just nice and easy. Nice and easy release. If I don't fall in the water. And that's that. Didn't have a full hookup on him. 
I'm using a roller bugger. I'm using one of the guys that, uh, one of the flies that guy made. It has no hook on it, so, or no barb on it. It has a hook, obviously. There's a bite. There's another bite. There we go. There we go. Got the hookup. Oh, dang. He took the fly with him. Probably the reason why you don't pick them up out of the water with your hook. That's alright, we have more flies. Caught another beautiful fish. Oh, don't break my hook again. Or break my line. Alright, well, let me get them released. Alright, here we go. Here we are with another one. Get him pulled up here real quick. So here he is. Another nice little one. And he's gonna get away just like the last one. Released. Nice little reminder. I mean, it's. It might seem like you're going out of your way. You might be nervous, whatever. But don't be nervous. Just walk up to an older guy if he's sitting there fly fishing. They're probably the most down to earth people you're probably going to meet, and uh, they'll be glad to teach you the things that you're doing wrong. Uh, I just went up to him, talked to him for a little bit, and he taught me some things and to keep your finger up and. Uh, you keep your finger on the back of your rod it doesn't allow you to bring it all the way back you, you just use use your arm all the way back forward back obviously you let your line have the time to come all the way back and then bring it forward and it's just nice and smooth motion and your line just lands nice and flat on the water and i was using a woolly booger and i was I started catching them and uh he was a pretty nice guy he ended up giving me some flies and just like that something going out of your way a little bit to talk to someone i'm sure made his day and Caught some fish, so it was a good day.